Hey Capricorn, it's Tanisha from Tanisha's Tarot. I'm here to do a mini reading for you for the month of July 2019. I'm going to be letting three cards out and then, oh, they pop right out, and then uh, do some clarification so as we can get a deeper understanding of the story that the tarot is telling. Alrighty, so with the chariot starting out, the chariot here is in reverse. So Capricorn, this is telling me that there is an imbalance going on in uh, areas of romance and that there is an inability to move forward due to this imbalance. So this can signify you being not on the same page as your partner or your partner like not being on the same page as you or it could just be talking about there being a little bit of stagnation between the two of you or if you are wanting to pursue someone it's sort of saying that there's like a, a halt on the pursuit however quickly after the chariot comes the knight of wands now this is all about getting jiggy with it the Knight of Wands really does depict like a lot of sexual attraction and sexual energy and a pursuit and, and one that comes quite quickly. So uh, what, what was stagnant then shifts into go mode and um, there's a fire that's reignited. Now this could also be an offer of new love. Um, this could be a new individual coming in and uh, a lot of sexual energy there and it's very fast paced so um, you know they're going to rush in and they're going to sort of sweep you off your feet and yeah it's going to be very uh, passionate. Now following the knight of wands is the king of swords in reverse so this suggests to me that somebody isn't communicating effectively there will be some element of miscommunication or non-communication or harsh words in general so um yeah this the thing with the knight of wands and the passion it's all very good but it needs to be surrounded by other things of substance and if it is not um it can kind of end up a bit of a wham bam thank you ma'am which can leave people feeling a bit sour and this king of swords he's pretty sour at the end of the day He's not a happy chappy and he's, um, you know, this can represent like a harsh exchange of words. Um, the king upright knows all the right words to say and is quite, you know, can still be quite direct but is generally not, um, you know, not very negative with his words. Whereas in the reverse this does speak of quite negative communication and an individual who is, um, you know, in a space of feeling quite scorned. So whether that's you or whether that's the person you're interacting with, I'm not sure. We've got these two opposing elements. And look, the chariot itself is all about um, opposites, polar opposites aligning so as there's a balance. You know, there's a um, there's there's the dark and the light, there's the um, night and the day and there is like a balance even though it's different it's balanced um it's like asymmetry so yeah in reverse this talks of an imbalance and then the imbalance seems to be somebody's quite sexually driven and then somebody's quite um intellectually driven but they're scorned so let's have a look at what the clarifiers say for this reading Alright, so the chariot in reverse is clarified by the six of cups. The knight of wands is clarified by the nine of wands. And the king of swords is clarified by the king of cups. Alright, so with this six of cups coming up to clarify the chariot this is saying that you know um you know the six of cups embodies a very innocent energy um you know very innocent intention so with this m not moving forward you know there's this like um 
naivety to it, you know, neither of you understand why this isn't moving forward and um, it sort of, it speaks of there their being not um, the maturity to move this forward. Um, now, with the Knight of Wands and the clarification being the Nine of Wands, this really talks about somebody feeling like they're doing a lot of work. So, um, you know, there may be an imbalance in the bedroom or there may be like somebody's worked very hard for this and then it just ends up like a sexual interaction and it lacks um, substance because of that. But it talks about somebody feeling like they're put in a lot of work here and it's not necessarily um, being acknowledged, you know. So um, the Nine of Wands looks back over the other eight wands behind him and sees that he's done a lot of work and he has the knowledge behind him. Um, and yeah, but for this being a clarifier of the Knight of Wands, you know, it can be that somebody's putting in more effort than somebody else. So with the King of Swords being clarified by the King of Cups, both are in reverse. So both are out of out of step. Um, the King of Swords and his truth is not is not positive, and the King of Cups and his feelings is not positive. So somebody really is quite upset by the end of this, and there is this imbalance, and it's two kings. You know, so this is very strong feelings. This can be very harsh words. This can be very sour emotions. So, um, yeah, looks like there's going to be some shifts for you in your romantic life during the month of July, Capricorn. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and sharing it. If you'd like to keep in touch for next month, please click subscribe. If you'd like your own personal reading, please use the email address below. Otherwise, yeah, happy July.